Hello everybody, my name is Tucker, and welcome back to our Russian Fishing for a Spin Fishing character. A little bit afternoon in game, uh, a little bit late, it's about uh, 7.30 in the evening my time, but wanted to get out in the water before it got too much later. So, got, uh, came back over to quarry after Sura the past couple days, I'm a little bit worn out and didn't want to deal with that again. So we came over here to see what we can get for the day, that's a nice perch. 464 gram perch. We did get another. It was a small perch to start. Small perch to start. So, gonna go on mute for a second. Um, my headset, I had to reboot it. And I had to do that the hard way by pushing the little button inside of it. So, I only have one earphone on right now. So, give me just one second to get that going. We'll see if we catch anything while that's going on. Much better. Now I can actually and I have a seal on my head. Love this headset, but after a recent firmware update, uh, it's ended to, when it gets low on battery power, it's stuck where it shows powered on, but it's not really powered on. And if you hold the actual power button on it, it does nothing. And the only way to fix it is to actually hard power cycle it. Either wait till it runs out of battery or there's a little button inside the left ear but you have to take the ear pad off to get to it so I didn't realize until I was already out on the water that it was not putting out any sound I didn't hear I didn't hear anything or connect the dots when I first uh, started walking towards the boat it's when I started the boat up I realized there were no sounds in my head and I know about three hours ago there were sounds But today, trying to get as much silver as we can. It's a uh, quarry day. Want to have some fun after Sura being as much of a struggle as it was the past few days. So, gonna try a couple different spots. We'll try here behind the island, around the island. We may do some loops to the far end. It's a good cold day here, so got my hopes up that today turns out to be a good day. You need to plug my headset back in though. Maybe a Windows sound here in a second. Give me just one sec. And there's a Windows Blunk as I plugged it in. The wireless USB headset, but when the batteries get low, that's a little punky. Otherwise, I love this thing. One of those where it technically has kind of a built it's got a little wireless dongle on it so it's got a built-in sound card basically where i could have if i wanted to done it a couple times behind the scenes you could have music or youtube video or some noise playing that you all don't hear basically it's set up so that you can have chat or uh, discord or something like that on one panel and the game sounds on another so you can up and down with just a little twist of a dial on the headset itself. Another small something, probably perch. Nope, Vendus. When it's small for a Vendus, it is a tiny fish. 
Ooh, hello. Seems like game sounds are a little bit louder than normal looking at uh, OBS right now. Not really sure why. Got a pretty decent fish over on Rod 2 as well. I'm hoping this is a good grayling. I think it's lake trout, but it could be a big grayling. Beautiful day out there today. It was low 60s. I don't think it's a grayling. A big savan. 2.2 kilo savan. Good fish. It's in the 60s out there. Really nice day. Low winds. That's a pike. Tiny pike. Is, I think we've already made more today than we've made it sir the past couple days. Another Vindus, another small one. That's a good sound. I don't know what the friction break is on uh, rod one, but that's my HSV pulling drag right now. Rip this fish in real quick. Small perch. And it was only 16. It's a Laker, probably a couple of kilo. 2.9 kilo Laker. Small Arctic.
going to be turning to the left here at the right from where you're looking though so that's why I threw spinner off a little bit to the left that way it would kind of drag behind the boat a little better I think I turned a little too sharp. Let's go over the deep hole over here, see if we get any attention there. Point four kilo Laker. It is a Monday, so you will see a lot of weekly records in chat. Very early in the week. I do like that they kind of lock the weekly records from being announced on Sundays, US. Sunday's probably all over. That way it's not just constant announcements of new record, new record, new record, new record. In chat. Mondays it can even be a little bit overwhelming. I did not really go over the hole the way I wanted. was me turning too quickly and actually lifting the spinner out of the water. Uh, small arctic on spinner. Again, I'm turning around, so I'm going to cast off the left side of the boat. Really the right side of the boat, but left side from staring out the butt of the boat. I'm going to turn around and try and go over that 13 meter hole a little bit better. Another small laker. Got some spin fishing experience there though. Didn't really expect that. And Rod 1's got something up. Looks like a small laker. Was a small laker. Is an okay grayling, 400 gram. I don't think that was a decent one. I don't think that was a bad grayling. It's a marker, flagged or tagged fish. Like a decent Vendus here, 110 gram. Thought there might be something on one, then it kind of jerked again. So 
I confirm my thought that there wasn't. Dinner pike. Looking at the chat message and couldn't read it with the reflection, but it's a good old new player, Ernie, and go look at our Discord messages. 1.272 kilo Arctic char. That's still not on the marker. Wow. That one and a quarter was. One kilo pike. Was not at all where I thought I was. I was turning around to look for the island, and I was already way past the island. It's a Vindus, 164 gram. A gram Vindus. Been a lot of smaller fish today. Reeling this in to bring the fish that's on one in, in this, I think it's an eyed. That is an eyed. I side. Grabbed it. All seven, yep.
1.1 kilo Laker. I did buy a three day boat ticket, so more than likely we'll spend another day here tomorrow. One of those, it's almost, I mean, it's 26 silver just to come to quarry. And then you buy the ticket, there's 35 silver gone out of whatever you catch. So you almost have to go for more than a day or two. Third of a gram, or thir third of a gram, third of a kilogram perch. Third of a gram perch, that would be a tiny, tiny, tiny fish. That's a decent perch, probably 500 or 386. That does not look that little of a difference from that previous fish. Did look a little bit bigger than that one, though. A little bit late decision what I wanted to do. Did I want to go behind the island or not? So not exactly in the best spot. I'm over the top. Do one of those. See what we can get. This area has been pretty good to me and got another good fish on route one. Maybe not a good fish. Good might be stretching it. Got another fish on route one at least. One point two kilo Laker. Perch, I'm going to switch over to the more bright Dodger crank for the night. Not sure it's going to do anything different, but worth a try. With how cold it is, I'm hoping to get the interest of a quarry char. I'm actually thinking about switching off the snatcher. I do want to. Did not expect this fish. This one bit right as I was picking the rod up to switch it out. I want to put the orange. I don't have a hook on it yet. Now I'll put a three out hook on there. And I forgot to actually put the on. There we go. It's a Laker. Oh, come on. That's what I get for holding right quick. It was an okay Laker. Probably one to two kilos.
just heard a car spin its tires out front, so just taking a good listen there for a second. Don't think it was directly on my street, though. I don't know if this is a fish or if it's just cooked the island. I think it is a fish. Nope, it's hooked on the island. I may have to log out here. We'll see. Used to be a lot bigger problem than it is now. I'm going to see what happens when I get past where this is stuck. It's stuck for good. It might have just popped out. Stop the boat because I didn't want to be putting some extra strain on that friction brake. Regretting that now because I'm having to pull this one around the island. A good size pike. 1.897. See if I got this free. Nope. All right. I'm going to take a pause and relog, and we'll be back in a second. And we're back. I decided to do things a little bit different. Let's see what we can do with some jigging. And uh, I was just kind of waiting for the night to pass, doing some practice jigs and caught that small perch. I'll take a 400 gram perch. So switched over to this setup, three-way rig with our 21 gram weight, two out hook and our, hand, our uh, handmade foam rubber fish. Now I've got a 25 retrieval speed. Having a lot of success with just one rotation and wait two seconds. One rotation, wait. I actually hooked that perch. I, when uh, jig step dropped, I actually thought jig step dropped because I reached where it was no longer going to fall back to the ground. It was end of the line as I was getting ready. Figured it's a cold enough day. We'll see if we can't get some char action. And so I figured I'd give the deep holes a shot.
did take a quick look at the cafe. When I logged back in, there was nothing major there. 500 gram Bendis, three one kilo pike, or three three kilo pikes, two three kilo. And a one kilo eyed options for spin fishings. Not a whole lot of interesting things either. Did also grab a few carrots. It's very low. Didn't want to waste a whole bunch of tea to get food up, so half a silver I could buy some carrots. Nothing on that cast. Little bit early. I'm gonna really be going right off the front of the boat next time. Didn't look to see what the char had been biting on. This used to be a good thing for me. Figured I'd give it a shot. The day hadn't been amazing on everything. Wanted to mix it up a little bit. Knows in real life, I would not want to be standing up in a rubber ding. Especially in four meter per second winds. Seems like a probably I should be like five miles normal wind. It's about 10. Uncle Google gave me 8.9 miles an hour for wind. Yeah, got something else. Feels like another perch. It was. That was a better perch than I thought it would be, though. Look at record quick. Here, char. One caught earlier this week on the same thing we're using for the globe. Got on the red foam. Got another fish. Uh, might be a perch. 
Zoomed around a little bit more than I thought for a perch. Seven. Now we're at 69.1% of the spin range. Next thing we unlock at 70 wacky. Yep. Amazing how much the boat looks anchored. Doesn't really tie it off as tight as I feel. Used to be needing to cast directly off the front of the boat. Now I'm having to cast almost 90 degrees off the side to stay in the That up to 35 just to see if it makes any difference. I'm going to switch to the red. Especially this is another perk. Feels like it. I'm going to switch to the red fish. There's a small acre. <laughs> Flatulence, not a weekly record common carp. That wins name of the day. Although T bone three or E B zero N three good one too. Who doesn't enjoy a fart joke? Late fish. Another perch by the looks of it. Four perch. Got to cast out the back of the boat.
Not getting much action this time. Oh, hold on. Doing this too. I am definitely not left handed. Control and left handed. First cast of nothing, though. We turned. No, nope, I'm facing into the hole. Now I'm thinking about going back over to yellow rubber. Underground perch, come back to the yellow. I switched from the big hook to the size one hook here in a second to see if we get any different bites.
so far, I don't think switching over has really been worth it. The jigging, but all we really need is one good char. We'll be. We did get the one, one kilo seven. Other than that, it's just been a bunch of per a pawpaw caught himself a Russian sturgeon. Good with the size of one hook. Do I still with the yellow fish? Yep. Feeling like jigging wasn't the smart. Might have been just not where we're at. Cast across either way. See if we can't find something. Before we have to wrap it up, we're at 52 minutes, so we got about two more casts. Still need to record the, still need to decide what I want to do to record the boat fishing app. If you don't know what I'm talking about there, I've got a character that similar to this one is focused on boat fishing instead of And there's a script to the playlist for that below as well, too. If you are interested in that, go, go take a watch if you're not already.
same thing I tell everyone. If you're going to play this, honestly, it doesn't hurt to do a little bit of all three types of fishing. Boat fishing, bottom fishing, spin fishing. Honestly, I feel the best way to play. That way you don't get burnt out on one discipline. And you can kind of use some of the other disciplines to help out your other one. Or float fishing and bottom fishing, you can catch bleak, use the bleak as bait fish on a bottom rod. That type. Of I would only pick one of two kind of side disciplines for leveling up either ground bait or lure making, but I would at the same time. They're both silver sinks. Spend a lot of money that you could hear leveling. Another perch that way. Got some big perch doing. Big perch ain't worth a lot of silver. I think one more fish will be eight fish digging in 30 minutes. Yep. I don't know if I'll catch another one or not, but see. But it's that time. Sit down. So 40 fish in 57 minutes. We did have that one BS snag on the island. And then I knew it would be a little bit slow. Jigging, I was hoping for some better fish. But it is what it is. Take a quick look at the cafe and see if it... Yep. Tree. 
40 fish. I'm going to say 110 silver. Ooh, 86. Big seven we started the day out with. 120 wasn't bad. We did get three from the other fish chicken. Keep in mind we got 80 overall. 16 of that came. Didn't turn out to be a good day jigging, but still had some fun. Hope you all enjoyed, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye now.